Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Games of Thrones collaboration. So freaking pretty you guys, you know. It's a Game of Thrones, this is the top. I open it up and then I have the book. Take it out, here it is. I got a good size mirror. Open it. Da, 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 da. You open it and then you have the eyeshadows right here. I did play with this yesterday. I did do swatches and all of that good jazz. But as I was reviewing the footage, I was, you know, I was like, you know what? I can give you guys better. And we're going to be doing another tutorial. I did do one eye, a different eye look than this one. I, I liked the whole concept and stuff, but I feel like the video where it was my baby's birthday yesterday i was kind of like you know speeding through it and stuff and i'm like you know what fan bam deserves more you guys already know that i don't like putting up content if i'm not 100 percent satisfied with it so we will be going in and playing around with the eyeshadow palettes again and swatching all over again all that good stuff and now since i have more of a feel i can give you guys more of my thoughts mm. so first let's go in and prep our eyelids i will be going in with the milani conceal and perfect this is in the shade light beige i like using this as an eyeshadow base i love it very creamy very pigmented going in with my makeup shack t29 i'm just going to go in and blend this out this brush is so amazing to blend out anything like it's seriously so freaking good i like using this one a lot so if you guys are not huge fans of game of thrones let me know down below why you have not watched the freaking tv series it is so good episode one had me hooked once i seen the white walkers i was done i was like okay sold i love shows like that where it's just like what the heck i feel like the first episode is always the most important to capture the audience and it captured me you guys it had me it had me and of course john snow <laughs> okay so here is the beautiful palette the palette is gorgeous i love it i love it i love it i do wish we had more mattes i really do but we're gonna work with what we got and i will be using this the two beautiful swords so we have john snow's long claw and here's ara starks starks needle uh, love i'm probably butchering your name but I used her needle sword to cut my concealer the other day. And Jon Snow, I used his to apply my blending shade. I love the weight of... I put everything back in this package, you guys. I always do that. Especially if I really love the, pa the packaging. You guys will see me that I, I do this a lot. But I really like the weight of these eyeshadow brushes the weight is perfect if you're thinking like oh they're just gonna be some like some cheap brushes and they're not they're just gonna feel plastic no these have really good weight on them they feel nice it feels like your money's worth for sure i really i really like how how good they they feel they weigh it was really really nice i really wish they would have expanded and came out with more eyeshadow brushes face brushes i really wish they would have came out with a whole line of game of the thrones brushes because i feel like that would have been like holy yes can you imagine a dragon egg handle a dragon like can you it's endless of what they could have came out with like i really feel like it would have been so freaking it would have bomb.com for sure so just in case you guys wanted to do that i'll be the first one to order for sure so yeah, the brushes, if you're debating on whether or not if you should get them or not, they're not really worth it. I definitely think they are worth it. It is really nice. I, I like it. I'm like, I'm super excited. Thank you so much, Urban Decay, that I did receive these ones. I'm like, heck yeah. They are so freaking nice. And I think, especially if you're a huge fan of Game of Thrones, you will love them in your collection. They're just super nice. And it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm freaking thrilled. So yeah 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 so yeah with that being said we're gonna go in with house of lannister and the payoff on the eyeshadows are very good they are very very pigmented i do like that they're like really nice i really like them a lot so we're gonna go in and apply this in our crease i'm just going to apply that just very boom in my crease 
and what and i do wish they would have came out with the palette like this i feel like that would have been so nice and convenient because i do see myself reaching for the palette and like i'm like oh yeah it doesn't have a mirror duh but i can see why the packaging like okay i i get it like this is you know like this is like all worth it i'm like okay like that's why that's why and i love that it it's it's a freaking book so you guys will see it in the background like it's just so freaking nice and if urban decay wants to expand that <laughs> that's gonna be so freaking cool to have it in the back and you know have that collection okay now we're gonna go in with john snow and then we're gonna go in with lannister red i'm just going to go in with john's sword and add this in our crease i cannot believe it's ending game of thrones i'm like oh. like i'm going to take a long minute for me to watch the new season i feel like i'm going to take a good minute because i don't i don't want it to end i don't want it to end i feel like it's such a good show it's one of those shows for sure that keeps you at the edge of your seat screaming at your freaking tv because of just how things play out where it's just like oh, it's definitely a show where i get like really like because of how things go sometimes and i'm just like son of a like i get really into it like i'm the type where i'm like talking to my tv don't watch shows that are really like oh, with me because i get really into it where i'm just like oh hell no kind of thing so this is the lexi the luxy tapering blending i'm gonna go back in with lannister red and we're just going to keep blending that shade in my crease but yeah i get really into the show and then a lot of times too it has me like what the fuck? they did oh what like there were so many parts where i i did not see that coming like so many I was just like, I did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. It's definitely a show that's not predictable because of how things play out. Like, oh, you think something's gonna end this way? Nope, not like that. Guess again, kind of thing, you know? And I like that. I like shows like that where you think one thing and you like you think you know the show and then boom, it takes you somewhere else. And you're like, I did not see that coming. So I like that. I like that a lot about the show, which is good. I like shows like that. I don't like shows that were, again, they're like very predictable. So I'm really glad that this show is not like that. You can go as deep as you want. I'm just going to deepen it just a little more. Just really get that in there. Time to cut my crease. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but it's all gonna come together. So using the Milani, conceal and perfect so we're gonna go in with this one to cut our crease and we will be using needle it's so freaking cute the how nice that color is like oh so beautiful okay so we're gonna go in with house of Tar tardirian oh my gosh i don't know how to say it tardirian targaryen King's Landing. It's it's a transformer shade. So here it is right here. On I have House of Targaryen and King's Landing. You see mixed together and it kind of gives this just different effect. So I'm going to go in with that just on top. And it gives it just like a different like I'm gonna go in with a Luxie mini tapering brush. I'm gonna go back in with Lannister Red. I'm just going to blend this right there. Okay, now going in with our LA Colors Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This one is in dark brown making sure it's thick and then it just stops halfway then we're gonna go back in with the lannister red and namira and we're just going to add that right at the edge where the eyeliner stopped okay so i went in with the ellie colors matte liquid eyeliner and navy so i just went over 
the color that I had previously and I just added navy to it. I am going to go in with the Night King. Let me zoom in. I do have Nena right here, so if you guys see some fluffy hair, it's my baby. So we're going to go and apply this to our bottom lash line. Are you a dragon? I messed up right there. But look how pretty, look how pretty this shade is. And we're going to go in with Frozen North. And I will be using a Makeup Check T2 brush. And we're just going to add that right underneath. So going in with Free Folk. Going in with King's Landing. And I'm using an LA Girl 301 brush. Oi, mama. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Mother of Dragons highlighting palettes. La, 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 la. And we will be using this one right here. I can't believe some of you guys are like, oh, why is there, why is there pineapples? No manches, eh? These are dragon eggs. So we're going to go in with this one right here using a Makeup Shack T38. And I'm just going to lightly... Go over this so beautiful I applied this yesterday and my face was glowing it was so nice let's go and highlighting my mustache but look at that like for real this right here oh Okay, so now onto the lips. I posted Santa Starks yesterday and I freaking dropped it. It's always the ones that you love the most that end up hurt. I swear. Um, my favorite, my favorite. And then it would have to be White Walker. White Walker is bomb, okay? So freaking nice. So I will be applying them so you guys can see. I'm going to apply them in lightest to deepest. I feel like with hers, you could literally pair it with anything and it would look fine. And it looks like a gloss. Like it really looks like a gloss. Nighthawk was so beautiful to pair with it. Watch. So there's two metallics, one sheer, and then this one is a comfort matte, and this one is a white walker. Okay, so one of the items I did not mention was the Game of Thrones lip and cheek stain. When playing with this yesterday, I did try to apply it to my face, and it did not work. If anything, it just kind of disrupt my makeup. This, I feel like, is just more something that you would apply before you apply your foundation but not something that you would apply on top and i feel like even if you were to apply this before your foundation it wouldn't really be too visible if anything you would probably cover it up cover it up with your foundation um i feel like your best bet would, would be to go in with this lippy right here apply some to the back of your hand like so like this and then just kind of kind of go like this and then just kind of oh shoot rub it on your cheeks like that to give you that nice kind of like oh like stain on the cheeks I do not think that this is necessary I feel like um, this you could totally pass on this I, I I don't think I think this is the only thing in the collection where I'm like mm, we could have done without sort of thing it is really nice to apply on the lips to give you that with that really nice stained lip where that looks really really pretty very sexy very ooh. but again if anything you can just go in with the red lip remove it and it would still give you that kind of same effect if not even more so i feel like this we could definitely skip on okay so now going in with the palette 
I feel like this whole thing right here, freaking beautiful. Love the idea, so cute. I hope they come out with more collections like this. People who like to collect makeup, this would be really cute to have like books of eyeshadow palettes from Urban Decay. I like the whole Game of Thrones, you open it. Dun, 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 dun. Have the mirror, which is really, really nice, but I feel like it was kind of a hassle to sort of, like, it's not like if you can pull it out like this and have the mirror like this and hold it, because this will fall out. I feel like they should have maybe put the mirror that you could like slide it out like the palette. I feel like if they would have done something like, like we had the Urban Decay Born to Run, I feel like that would have been super convenient if it would have been like something like this, okay? This is kind of like almost the same size as that, kind of. It's a little bit thicker, but not that thick, okay? So just imagine taking it out and then we would have the Game of Thrones palette and then we would have been able to play with the palette and then use the mirror as well instead of taking this out and then it'd be kind of a hassle because we have this out and then we have like you know the mirror and stuff and then this being heavy that kind of thing you know what i mean so i kind of feel like with that i feel like there should have been more thought on that kind of thing because we could have left this at home the packaging and kind of just taking this out when we are on the run do you see what i mean i feel like that would have been very I would have liked that idea a lot better, but I do like the I do like the packaging. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, like, do you guys know what I mean? Do you guys understand like where I'm coming from? Where it would have been like convenient to have a mirror with it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Now going on to the palette, I feel like we definitely could have used a lot more mattes in this eyeshadow palette. I would have loved a blue matte eyeshadow, especially to play around with this color right here. I will be doing a separate look using dipping into another palette so that we can play more with this color right here because frozen north is a gorgeous and blues are totally in right now we only have three mattes we definitely could have had more mattes in this palette for sure this is more of a palette that you're going to have to use with another palette so if you're not really a huge game of thrones fan then kind of keep that in mind if you are wanting to purchase this palette for the palette itself do the colors speak to you enough where you're like, oh, okay, I can dip into another palette kind of thing. Or if you're just going to use this palette, then just keep in mind you only have three mattes to play with. I do like the three mattes, but we could have used more mattes for sure. We have a Lannister red, which is kind of like a brickish, brickish reddish brown. I love that color. You guys always see me dipping into that color. Yeah, I love it. Then we have House of Lannister, which is very beautiful. I applied that in my crease. It's a little light. I feel like lighter skin tones will definitely be able to apply this all over your lid and be fine. Then we have this brownish shade right here. I'm not going to butcher the name. This one I applied all over my lid and it is beautiful. And yeah, those are the three mattes, but we definitely could have gotten a little bit more i'm not talking about brown mattes i'm talking about other shades where we could have used right here like a blue we could have even used a purple and even um kind of like a, a nudish kind of creme brulee color we could have done with that that would have been beautiful but this is definitely a palette where you're going to have to use with another palette that you have in your collection four colors right here that should transform these colors so you can apply like frozen north apply it and then you can apply hard home on it and it will kind of shift the color so it kind of expands your color choices with eyeshadows i feel like the pigmentation is amazing the pigmentation is super super good which i'm so happy about because i'm like <laughs> yes <laughs> yes because if this one isn't if this wasn't pigmented oh my gosh so many of us would have been pissed off but i'm so glad the pigmentation is amazing the formula is buttery creamy you get a lot of payoff mattes are super 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 even though we got three they're super creamy and very pigmented they definitely get the job done especially lannister red don't let that fool you don't think like oh it's just another br that kicks ass that shade is bomb these four right here i love i have used all four very nice i like them a lot frozen north is my top favorite for sure the site is another one those two are my top faves very beautiful i really like it i'm not talking on the palette it's very good and i love the whole the whole packaging like i've always said packaging is huge packaging is freaking huge it is huge and they killed it with the packaging for sure next are the 
for 24 7 glide on eye pencils these are freaking beautiful i feel like up close even the detail on the eye pencils are very very nice i am just I love it all. It's so freaking beautiful. Out of the four, my two that I would say definitely get would have to be Lannister Gold. This one is just such a beautiful gold where it's like I have nothing like this in my collection. So I am so happy that I have this one. And then the Night King is beautiful. A deep teal blue, which is beautiful. Winter Fell Snow is beautiful as well. But I'm just kind of like, eh, like it's it's okay you know and then we have dragon smoke which is a really pretty black eyeliner that has some red that has some white that has some color to it that you know when you move like that it looks it looks really nice but i'm not too like oh okay like you have to get these two you have to get these two these two you can go without but these two for sure i definitely recommend those two are beautiful now going on to the lipsticks you guys already know my two favorite that I recommend is Santa Stark and White Walker. These two I feel like are going to be everyone's favorites. So number one I feel like is going to be Santa Stark. I feel like this one is beautiful. I am going to be carrying this one so much. It's such a pretty nude sheer color. Again, it looks really nice and glossy. It's really good. I like this one. And then for my bold, I would go with White Walker because it's just so pretty and it reminds me of a Selena Red. These two are pretty, the metallics. Not a huge fan of metallics. I feel like only a I feel like only a few people can pull them off and I am not part of that few. I feel like, yeah, I cannot pull them off. Very beautiful, very pretty to have in, in a collection. But again, I'm not a super fan of the metallics. If anything, I'm more of a nude sheer kind of girl fan because it's going to be a lot easier to pair. Now, last but not least, this is a Mother of Dragons. I love the packaging on this. The scale's beautiful. The detail of this is super, super nice. I love it. And I even love how we have a little mirror in it. We have the pressed eggs on here dragon eggs not pineapples i love that we got you know kind of like a really like oh like a different kind of highlight then we have the gold that everyone is going to love and then we have a bronze one i will be using these two probably as eyeshadows or even a pop of the inner eye it just makes my skin look wet i love how the highlighter makes my skin look wet i definitely love this no complaints on this one i feel like it's freaking beautiful i like it i like how it looks my skin looks really nice when I was posting pictures yesterday. I loved how it looked even when I was recording. It just, it pops. It makes your skin look super duper nice. I love it. So that is everything of the Game of Thrones collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like these type of videos, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already to keep up to my videos. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys are notified when I do post a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.